So this is pretty magic. And it's what we've been working on in the lab and in practice now for years. And we have done so many amazing experiments. But experiments are not reality. So I thought it was super important to have something to show everybody that is launching next week in DevNet. And I want to invite on stage a very good friend of mine. His name is Ram Barak. He is the CEO of the Midnight Project. And he's the, one of the partner chains building that service. And he's going to come up here and tell you guys a little bit about what makes it so special. And what's really cool is as he builds, we build, we evolve, and we get closer and closer to that interoperability. And that framework is your framework. So, so many dApps can now move into this domain, especially in the GameFi space, the IoT space, especially in the supply chain space and all around. So come on up, Barack. Thank you, Charles. Very excited to be here. I see a lot of friends. I hope you're friends. Um, Midnight is a fourth generation blockchain network. We focus on data protection. What that, does that mean? Well, we use zero knowledge technology to protect data and metadata. We have a shielded ledger that allows you to put confidential information on chain. But we also have an unshielded ledger that allows you to put public information on chain. That means you can mix both private and public information together, giving you selective disclosure. But protecting data is not enough. You want to also protect metadata. So we got a shielded token, you probably heard of it, called Dust that allows you to transact with privacy. But we all know that shielded tokens sometimes have a challenge getting to liquidity. So we actually have a second token, an unshielded token, to provide network liquidity and security. Together, working those in hybrid, as well as dual tokenomics, you can get various use cases, as well as multiple paths to ensure that you are both compliant with regulatory requirement and have the best of both worlds. But we knew that having a great blockchain is not gonna be enough. There's a matter of adoption. So we talked with enterprises about what makes them happy to get deployed and working and building apps on a blockchain. Well, we've added capability to give you SLA you can guarantee capacity and always know that you have access to the resources. We have the ability to provide price predictability so you can budget and know how much it's going to cost to run an application on this infrastructure next year. And that means also that you can have a gas station that is not just an ad hoc conversion from fiat to tokens, but can give you a rate card. So you can actually use this blockchain like a cloud service, paying with fiat and accessing it like a regular cloud service that you're familiar with. This means that everybody can now access this kind of technology. You have a cloud service powered by a fourth generation blockchain network. Now, I started my career as a developer, and I know how hard is it to learn a new domain-specific language, and there's no shortage of them out there. Midnight wanted to make developers happy as well. So our smart contract language is based on TypeScript. And for the hard stuff, the zero knowledge circuits, we've got Lego building blocks. And we've got the tooling like faucets and wallets and visual studio plugins and everything else that you need. So data protection, customer friendly, developer friendly. Charles just talked about his vision for partnership. Midnight is looking to be a partner chain to Cardano. A partner is, you know, both sides get something. It has to be a win-win. So we would like to leverage the ecosystem of Cardano to help us go to market and get to decentralized fast. In exchange, we will provide SPOs and exchanges with both new revenue sources 
as well as incentives. We will provide developers with use cases and a fund to help them create more interoperability between the networks. And as was shared last year, I believe everybody here is an ADA holder. ADA holders will get a token drop for midnight so everybody can get access to this utility. Now, about a month ago, we opened up our registration for DevNet, and I couldn't be happier to see over a thousand engineering teams that actually signed up for the midnight DevNet. Uh, there's a little sign of a clock there. The countdown is starting because in 10 days, November 13th, mark the date, we're gonna start onboarding teams onto our DevNet. And I know that some of you are gonna be maybe disappointed because you couldn't get in on the first day, but trust me, we're adding more and more resources so we can have everybody both on DevNet, TestNet, and hopefully also on the mainnet. I wanna thank Charles and everybody here. A friend of mine once said, wonders I can do, miracles take time. It's been five years in development for Midnight. The team, Midnight team, you guys rock. Cardano family, thank you for having us. We look to partnering with you. And if you see me in the next two days, please come say hi. We'd love to hear from you and make this a win-win for all of us. Thank you.